I love good design and I love beautiful jewelry, but the thing that I really love the most is just the process of making things. Most of the tools are very low tech, so I'm using a handsaw, small hammers, little files, um, sandpaper. It's surprising how simple the tools are and how little you need to be able to make stuff. You can just cut metal with a regular little saw. When it comes to silver and gold, there are a lot of things that you can sort of bend and move with your hand. You do have to think in advance a lot of times because it's not like clay or paper and when you take stuff away, you can't easily put it back. It's kind of a different wow factor when somebody looks at you and then they look at your work and they say, oh, you actually made that with your hands. People can sense it's sort of imbued with your spirit a little bit. For me, I really like the fussy, meticulous work. I don't know, it's something that I think, even as I'm saying it, I think doesn't appeal to a lot of people, this like tiny, fussy detail. Um, but for me, it's got a sort of meditative quality to, to doing that work where you can just really focus in on something small and try to make it, I want to say perfect, but you don't exactly necessarily want to make things perfect perfect, you, you want to make them beautiful. I'm pretty influenced by some of the Scandinavian um, design aesthetic which is just sort of clean and spare. Um, I'm also a big fan of Asian art. There's this sort of like economy of line work where you use the, the least amount of detail to come up with um, something representative and I think that's just really beautiful. So I do like things that are minimal and not overly fussy and overly decorated. When things are well designed they really enhance people's lives. I think it really becomes art then when it's both well-designed and handmade, um, I think it kind of brings it to a different level of artisticness. You know, you start out with an idea and it's not until you're actually assembling it that you see exactly how it's gonna sit or hang or look and then you have to adjust midway and it's, I think, in the fixing and in the adjusting and in the repositioning and solving that puzzle that you come up with a better solution um, and maybe a solution that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. A lot of good things happen just in the process of doing. One of my main goals is to make things that are beautiful or to take, take things that are beautiful like a beautiful and interesting gemstone and make it more beautiful by making it wearable. It also is just, you know, I mean, it's a feeling that you get where you think that is so beautiful that you feel a little bit uplifted and inspired. And I, I don't think we can ever feel that too much.